in not too long, Avengers Endgame will come out. And I am just so excited. And as I've previously mentioned, one of the things that I enjoy doing is going back and reading old articles about the Avengers or other Marvel movies. But recently, I discovered that reading the comments of these articles can be even more fun than reading the actual articles. It is so much fun for me to see where people think the Avengers movie is going to go or who should play what character. So today, I will be going through and reading some of these old Avengers comments. Okay, so starting off, I think this is a pretty good comment. Movie Avengers team should be 1. Iron Man, 2. Spider-Man, 3. Mr. Fantastic, 4. Wolverine, and 6. Captain America. I can dream, can't I? Well, I'm not really sure if you can dream. I don't really know how sleeping goes for you and what that is, so I'm not really the right person to ask. I think given that Iron Man and the Incredible Hulk movies are coming out this year and they are the pre-established heroes at the beginning of the Ultimates, it would be better to do an Ultimates movie and then if Marvel want to franchise those characters, they can be spun off that film. It means that an amazing sequel would be ready too as Ultimates 2 as a film could be great as X2. The cast of this film would be and I think they should be played by Captain America, Paul Walker. Has Brad Pitt been younger? I would have had, I would, I would have him in this role. Oh, I'm, I'm struggling here. Iron Man, Robert Downey Jr. He is playing him in the Iron Man movie after all. Giant Man, Matthew McConaughey, referenced as the actor to play him in the book. Wasp, Maggie Q. Well, she looks sexy and can act. Thor, Brad Pitt. I think Achilles from Troy with a goatee and a and big hammer. Hulk slash Banner, Edward Norton. He is playing him in the Incredible Hulk movie. General Nick Fury, Samuel Jackson. The Ultimates character is based upon the actor. Betty Ross, Liv Tyler. She is playing her in the Incredible Hulk movie. Hawkeye, Wentworth Miller. He just looks right for the part. Black Widow, Charlie's Theron. Char, Charles there, and I hope I'm saying that right. I think she would be, I think she would be perfect. Quicksilver, Orlando Bloom. He suited white hair and has the right frame. Scarlet Witch, Charisma Carpenter, the the snobbery of the character. Reminted, <laughs> reminted. I think they be reminded me of. And Cord Cordelia and her Kleiser <laughs> Robert Carl Carl He would be great with some vocal coaching for the accent. The villains would be Hulk in the middle of the movie and then Ch the Chitari. Hey, they got that right. Ultimate version of the scrolls led by her Kleiser. The Avengers movie will best Justice League. Well, yeah. Back in, like, 2007, they had planned a Justice League movie, but then that movie never really happened. Well, until the new one, but that was a whole different plan. The Avengers movie will best Justice League, since JL is using different actors for Batman and Superman. Oh, that took me a second. I thought they were saying that Batman and Superman should be played by the same person, but they just mean that it's not... Not, um, uh, Christian Bell and uh, Brandon Rao. And I believe Avengers will use the same actors. The team should include the following. Captain America, Scarlet Witch, The Vision, Hawkeye, Iron Man, Thor, The Hulk. Other superheroes should cameo in the movie, perhaps individually trying to fight off Apocalypse, who should be the main villain. And the actors who played previous heroes should return to reprise their roles. Be 
very interesting having Apocalypse being the villain of Avengers. But I guess it could work. Of course, you start with the war and fateful fall into the water and disappearance of Cap. Tell the Avengers find him. Captain America was and will always be a hero. To bring the rest of the heroes together can only take Thor. He had the best pair-ups with the Hulk and a Spider-Man. What a great time we live in in movies. Oh, just you wait. They come to life like we like were always imagined. Like they were always imagined. In today's world, even imaginary heroes are welcome. I think these should be in the Avengers movie. Captain America, of course. Iron Man, Hulk, Thor, Wolverine, Storm, Hawkeye, Black Panther, Giant Man, Scarlet Witch, Ant-Man, Wasp, some of the X-Men, the Fantastic Four, and Spider-Man. <sighs> it would really help if you used commas there. But, you know, no commas. Okay, I think this would most def be the best team. Captain America, Steve Rogers, Thor, Thor Odinson, Silver Surfer, Iron Man, Anthony Stark, Captain Britain, Brian Braddock, Punisher, Frank Castle, Bradley, Isaiah Doctor Strange, Stephen Strange, and that, my friends, is a butt-kicking team. Okay, so I think they meant Isaiah Bradley and not Bradley Isaiah, and I also think it's funny that they included everybody's alter ego except for the Silver Surfer. I mean, come on, Norrin had to need some love, too. I was introduced to the Avengers when I was five by my dad and always thought they were way cooler than any X-Men. I now... I'm now 39 and still love them. My dream team for the movie, Iron Man, Captain America, Thor, Vision, Black Panther, Quicksilver, Hawkeye, Wasp, Scarlet Witch. The movie would need to be at least four hours long to cope with all the characters and to give each one plenty of air time to strut their stuff. P.S. I saw Iron Man last week and loved it. Great movie with plenty of action and laughs. So, um, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine characters need a four hour long movie? Oh. <laughs> Just wait till Infinity War. It's what, 23 characters in a two and a half hour long movie? It can be done, trust me. This could be real if you see the Iron Man movie. Stay until the credits are over and see the truth! It's a fake laugh. <laughs> it's real! Totally fake. That is the most real, authentic, hysterical laugh of my entire life. <sighs> oh, golly, this comment is a little rough, but here we go. Okay, here is the reason I'm not a fan. Let's start with Spider Man, which has a good a start up to three. Where the heck was Venom? Barely made an appearance. Then y'all casted Eric from that 70s show. Who wimpy is he? Sandman was great. Toby looks like Harry Potter. Y'all might really want to consider getting a fan's point of view. Because y'all are destroying my childhood memories. Like the X-Men in Matrix suits. That type of ball bitten ish that. Nightcrawler, my favorite character. Y'all put him in a shiny, glittery coat and blue airbrush. He wasn't in Weapon X. He was Mystique's son. Where that storyline go out the window? I guess Magneto keeps showing up, whereas that Shadow King, where is Apocalypse? Mr. Sinister. I might have spelled it. I might... <laughs> Not have spelled it all right, but I know what I'm talking about. That would have been great. Why would y'all try to get it right? Why won't y'all try to get it right? Don't rush the films. Open up a comic book and learn something. I never been so let down watching a movie. When I get rich, I'll remake them all over right way. But I'm gonna say... I loved Iron Man on the big screen. Please let one writes the script be a fan. And then, okay, that was rough. But then a couple comments, or the next comment, someone says, 
Real fans use proper spelling, punctuation, paragraphs, and grammar. Thank you. That is, yes, I agree with that. Real fans use proper spelling, punctuation, paragraphs, and grammar. Seriously, if you want to come up with a fan's opinion, at least the least you can do is have that opinion look like it comes from someone who wasn't held back in the third grade. Now, on to the show. Personally, I'd prefer it if they were the ultimate cap. Same backstory, created in World War I, frozen, revived later in an America that used words like patriotism as a punchline. Completely out of his element, politically, but still a fighting man fighting man, trying to figure out what went wrong with the world he left behind. Must leave in the classic ultimate line, surrender. Do you think this letter... Surrender? Do you think this letter on my head stands for France? How about an all-girl team? One, Wasp, Captain. Two, Dazzler. Three, Rogue. Four, Invisible Girl. Five, Spider-Woman. Six, She-Hulk. Seven, Psylocke. Psylocke. Eight, Black Widow. Nine, Silver Sable. Reserve. Interesting. Captain America, Mark Wahlberg, Iron Man, Robert Downey Jr., Nick Fury, Michael Da, Michael Da White, Giant Man, Paul Walker, Wasp, Kate Beckinsale, Thor, maybe a wrestler, someone big enough to play that part, Hulk, Edward Norton, Black Widow, Charles, Charles Theron. Okay, first off, the only big actor who was a wrestler back then was The Rock. And The Rock is Thor is just a little, a little bit off. And number two, real fans use proper spelling, punctuation, paragraphs, and grammar. And sorry, but there is not a single comma in there. Oh, golly, here's another long one. I think the Captain America movie should be an origin movie set in World War II. And the Avengers movie could start with them unfreezing him. Kind of like the Ultimate Avengers movie. It should be all gritty looking. Like Saving Private Ryan. With the Cap, Thor, Ant-Man, Iron Man, and Hulk movies coming out. I think the Avengers will be the final movie for him. Ah, uh, <laughs> final movie? Not quite. I hope for the Thor movie they change his origin. Because it sucked. He should look like Ultimate Thor. Admit the wing helmet was stupid looking. And I think the guitar player Zack Wade would be perfect to play him. Cap should be played by Matthew McConaughey or maybe Matt Damon. Christian Bell would be good too. I think the Avengers movie should have 1. Captain America, Matthew McConaughey or Matt Damon 2. Thor, Zack Wild, 3. Iron Man slash War Machine, Robert Downey Jr. slash Terrence Howard 4. Luke Cage, Tyrese Gibson 5. Nick Fury, Samuel Jackson 6. Black Widow, Femke Jensen 6. Vision or Hank Pym as the tech guy 8. Hulk, I think they should have the Hulk in prison or something because he's dangerous, and at the end of the movie, they should let him loose to help them. Again, kind of like the cartoon movie. There's not... <clears throat> there's not really a true Avengers villain that would be good enough for the movie. Maybe Thanos. Hmm? There's not really a true Avengers villain that would be good enough for the movie. Come on! What about the purple time traveler guy? Or the purple ninja guy? Or the purple alien guy? Or the purple man? Maybe Thanos. 
Or maybe they grouped together some villains from previous movies, like Magneto and Doctor Doom, and some other introduced in some of the coming movies. I just hope, with all the new superheroes coming out, that they are better than Daredevil slash Elektra. Oh my goodness, that was terrible. Don't worry, the movies coming out are certainly better than Daredevil and Elektra. Or the stupid Fantastic Four. The only cool thing about... You missed a, a T there. The FF was Doctor Doom. They are the lamest superhero team ever. Disagree. They are not a terrible superhero team. They just have some terrible movies. And with that, I think that is going to be enough for today. So I really hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please leave a like on the video and let me know in the comment section down below. And maybe you can have some more insightful comments than some of these ones were. And if you really enjoyed it, subscribe so that you can make sure that you don't miss any videos from me in the future. And also hit the notification bell just to be absolutely positive. But that's all I've got for you today. I'll see you next time.